The UAE's smartphone penetration is among the highest in the world, and financial service providers have rapidly capitalized on this platform to differentiate their offering. Subroto Som from the UAE's Mashrek Bank joins me now. How competitive is the UAE's banking sector in terms of technology offering? Very competitive is how I'll start with. Uh, there are over 50 banks um, which operate in UAE, out of which over 36 work in the retail space. This is across three and a half million consumers and about 12 billion cards. Of the 36 retail banks that operate there, almost 25 of them, they offer an online platform and about 16 of them offer an online and mobile platform. In UAE, even today, more than 75% of transactions happen through cash. So as you will see, there is a huge opportunity going forward. There is new development coming into customers hand almost every day and that makes it very exciting. How advanced is this technological offering then? And talk to me about your app, Snap Mobile. What's new there? Technologically, not all the platforms are equally uh, capable from a customer's uh, perspective. Three or four of them are quite advanced and Mashrek is one of the leading ones. Snap is very intuitive, trendy and customer centric. The app integrates the mobile banking for banking, for cards, for rewards platform, for various information that the bank sends to the customer in forms of notification. It's been continuously evolved over time. We integrated with Siri to give simple instructions to remit money on voice recognition. If you have lost your card, you want to immediately block it. And if you can't find it, you will actually ask for a replacement. And if you find it, you will unblock the card. You may want to restrict maximum size of a transaction on a card, number of transactions in a day, your supplement card holders who can spend how much at a time. All of this is possible through Snap. We have gone beyond what is possible in banking that you offer on mobile. And how about with corporates and SMEs? How, how are businesses going mobile? We have a dedicated uh, Mushrek edge for our larger corporates, which operates out of you know, multiple countries. It has very sophisticated controls about authorization, tokenization, and the verification for transactions. Uh, we also have an extension of SNAP, what we call a SNAP Biz, which is targeted at small business entrepreneurs. You can initiate a transaction on the online platform and you can complete it on the mobile platform. It also allows one particular transaction to be completed by two or three different people because in many cases companies need multiple level of authorization. It allows you to track where the transaction is. This SNAP base has just been launched. We are the first bank to launch a specific SME-based mobile banking application in the market. I do see this to be a big driver of transactions for the SMEs. And talk me through the learning curve of producing these apps. What's been the process there? The biggest thing is we have a team not comprised of bankers. These are engineers, um, analysts, designers, set of data scientists and business analysts who actually review all the transactions that are taking place in our network, whose focus is customer convenience, customer pain point, and how to find a solution better. We work with this team along with our technology partners. We have a team dedicated in Bangalore. We have vendors in London and Milan with we work. And I think it is the very close teamwork that makes a difference because we are able to respond quickly we're able to make changes quickly. We're able to bring things very quickly. And that, I think, is the key to the development. Finally, what do you see as the next step in digital banking? Mobile banking was about what you did in normal banking, you brought it to the mobile. You will now have capabilities in mobile and digital banking that do not exist in normal banking. Second, we have seen and heard a lot of fintech come into the space, bringing enormous value to the customer and experience. And I feel in the next phase, fintechs and banks will work closely to actually reduce pain point and bring better customer experience. Third, what digital and mobile and banking is bringing will actually improve financial inclusion to a large extent. I'm excited about the opportunities. While it brings new competition, but it also creates opportunity to address consumer needs in a very different way. So good times are ahead of us. So, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Nice talking to you. Thanks for watching. You can find out more about mobile banking innovations at worldfinance.com. And please subscribe for more fintech news as well as all the latest insights from World Finance.